In this video, we're gonna build a basic AI system that takes your data set, such as the one I have here in Airtable, feeds it into different AI models, and then puts the output back into the, your data set such that you can test and refine your prompts, um, your systems and data sets very rapidly and not have to go back and forth with AI such as on ChatGPT or Claude's website. So let's dive right in. You're gonna want a data set. This is a bunch of content ideas I have for different LinkedIn posts that I could write. Um, and so in order to build it, we're gonna have to start in make.com. What you'll do is you'll just create a new scenario. And now that we're in here, we're going to set up an Airtable connection. You're gonna to wanna to do search records. You'll connect your Airtable base and then you'll connect the specific table that you want to use and you will allow it to select all of the output fields that you want and you'll click okay. Then we'll go into Claude. So go to Anthropic Claude. In order to get this set up, you're gonna need an API key. It's really simple to get. All you need to do is type in Claude API and you'll see build with Claude. You create an account here um, and, it, and this is where you get the API, API keys from. So we can say get API keys. You'll just copy that. You'll put it in make.com. That's how you set up the connection here. The max tokens, you can just say 4060. You'll set up a new message from user. Content type is text. And this is where the prompt comes in. Having the quality of your prompt obviously determines the quality of the output. So... I'm going to use a prompt here that I generated from LinkedIn prompt medias, boom, LinkedIn post. So I started refining this prompt for a LinkedIn post. I said, write me a LinkedIn post about topic. This is where the variable data set comes in. Then I gave it a bunch of examples of really solid LinkedIn posts that I like. Gave it some formatting guidelines. I can definitely improve this prompt, but it's a good start here. So now I will add that prompt into the text box here. And now what I want to do is I want to change this topic brackets with the data set. So we're going to go in here and it looks like I'm pretty sure it's the title row. Yep, the title row or column. So boom, please write a LinkedIn post about topic. Here are examples. And let's run this one time just to see what happens. Boom, okay. So it gave us an output here and it said, I stopped it, which is okay. The message is content. Please write a LinkedIn post around. Okay, it filled it in. Imitate the structure tone, and it gave us a response somewhere. Um, so looks like that worked. Now let's send that data set back to Airtable. So now we're going to create another one, Airtable. We're going to say update a record in the same base as the one that we're pulling the data from in the same table. And the record ID is going to be the record ID from the start of this exercise and we're going to update the output to be the output of Claude. Um, so boom, text output and we're gonna click okay. So now this is essentially pulling in data here, putting it into Claude, into Airtable. You can check out my other LinkedIn posts on chain prompting where if you want to actually run multiple different AI prompts um, such that you can take the data from the from Claude and feed it back into Claude into another prompt and then send it back to Airtable. That's something you can do. Um, but let's just run this right now and see what happens. So now when I run this, um, something to note too that I've done in the past is um, if you just run it on like 100 data sets at a time, it will actually error out Claude. It'll rate limit error. And so you can just add a timer in there and add like 30 seconds so that it takes 30 seconds before it runs the AI every time. But let's see if this worked. Boom. So now we have the outputs here. The future of AI, AI shaping it. Here's what I've learned about the future of AI. AI can automate. Boom. Like 
solid content, not amazing. This is where we refine the prompts. So one underrated tip for building one shot prompts. This is a little bit more solid. Um, it's giving us a specific prompt. I actually don't love this, but maybe I'll just add my own AI prompt in here, clean this up a bit. So you can see that the purpose isn't for it to write me my LinkedIn post, but for it to help me brainstorm, right? So I'm feeding it all these ideas that I have and it's feeding back to me. Here's potentially what a post about this could look like based on ones that you've liked. Now I go in and I edit this and this is where the magic happens. But as you can see, it's just running and putting these outputs in here. Another thing that we could do is create a checkbox, which is like, uh, so yeah, let's just do that right now. We could create a checkbox. We will actually call it a restart prompt. So something that we could do is create a check, restart prompt, and we can say, we can add and make if restart prompt is checked, then rerun the prompt on this data set. Um, but for now, I just, this is the purpose of the video. So I hope you guys got value uh, around learning how to build a basic AI system that feeds different data sets. Um, the next level on top of this is that you can start feeding, uh, automating where the data is coming from. So maybe you want to get insights every time that something happens, so you create a trigger, and whenever something happens, you add that data set into this Airtable base, and then as soon as it's added, because we have this automation set up to search records, as soon as that data set's added automatically, um, from a trigger, then it immediately creates an AI post for you. So maybe it's like uh, something that I could do is I could link this to Slack. Um, so maybe I'd want to link it to Slack. And then I say, um, whenever there's a new message, um, so I can say watch for messages. So watch message watch public channel messages or maybe even private channel and I can create a connection and I then anytime I have an idea about a post I just drop it in that slack channel and then it feeds it into Airtable feeds it into AI and then you just have a database of all of these LinkedIn posts and prompts just by like whenever you have an idea document into a slack channel so you can see that the opportunities are endless here of how we can start building systems around our processes around our content creation systems uh, maybe it's a CRM every time you have a meeting with someone it adds a record into the CRM and puts them as a certain status based on the transcription. Um, but there's a lot of different ideas here. I hope this one was helpful to start getting your brain moving and your ideas moving around different types of AI, of AI systems that you could build. I'd love to hear what you're building. Leave a comment below of the different AI systems that you're building.